This tutorial shows you how to create a web application in five minutes using App Genie. First, we'll start a new project. Let's give it a name. In our example, we'll name it Product Catalog. Then we'll add two tables, one for categories and another one for items. You can assign an icon for each table by clicking on the box at the left of the table name. Next, we'll add fields to each table. Each table must contain a primary key field. If you name a field ID, it will automatically become a primary key. You can add as many fields and tables as you need. Now, let's try out some of AppGenie's features. If we set a field as a lookup, it will be displayed to users as a drop-down, listing data from another table. This makes your web application more organized. We'll set the category field as a lookup field simply by clicking on the lookup field tab, selecting category as the parent table, then category name as the parent caption field. In addition, if you want to list items under each category, you'll need to configure the Categories table by opening the Parent Child settings, select the Items table, check Enabled, Show Icon, and optionally rename the tab title to a more descriptive one. All you need to do now is to generate your web application by clicking the magic stick icon. Choose your application path and AppGenie will do the job for you. These are the files generated by AppGenie. Let's visit our web application and see this in action. This is the setup data page. Once we are done filling it, we start using our application. As you can see, both tables appear on the first page. Let's go to the Categories table and enter some data. Here you can see the table fields. To start adding a new record, simply click Add New. You will automatically be directed to the Data Entry page, also known as Detail Form View. We'll enter dresses and t-shirts as an example. Simply press back to see how the table looks. Once we're done, we jump to the items table and start adding our data for this table as well. Do you see how the category field is displayed? It's a drop-down menu, because we set it as a lookup field in AppGenie. The drop-down lists the categories that we entered a moment ago in the Categories table. AppGenie offers special features for fields with immutable data like size and target groups. This is how the Items table looks after adding our data. Now let's go back to AppGenie to see how to make use of its features. To create a drop-down list, click on the field name, then on Options List, and type all the values you need, separating options with double semicolon. You can choose among three options for how to display your options list. In our case, we will choose the drop-down list. We'll perform the same steps for the target group field,
but this time we'll choose radio buttons instead of drop down list. Once we generate, we get back to our web application, refresh the page, and start adding a new record. So this way our size field became a drop down field and our target group field became a radio buttons field. Finally, this is how our table looks. To get to know more about AppGenie, please visit our homepage for more video tours.